Hi guys, welcome to my affordable watch collection. My name is Aviv, and today we are taking a look at yet another awesome release from Boltony Watches, the S205034. A vintage inspired mecha quartz powered chronograph with great specs for the money. So yeah, Boltony. I have taken a look at quite a few of their watches in the past year and I have stated before that it has become one of my favorite brands. I was always impressed with their watches and my expectations are very high each time I get a new Boltony in for review. These guys just know what they're doing and they do it very well. Let's see how this watch holds up to those expectations. Keep in mind that Boltony did send me this watch for free for review and that I do get to keep it after I'm done. Like always, this does not mean they get a free pass. I will point out the cons as well as the pros so that you can have all the information you need about this watch. This watch comes in three different colorways for you to choose from. Panda with a cream dial and black subdials. Reversed Panda with a black dial and cream subdials. And white with a milky enamel dial. Price for all three options is $148.92. The packaging is the same as all other Boltony watches I've reviewed, so there's no point dwelling on that. I do like that it's a practical watch box you can actually use later, rather than just hide it in a drawer somewhere. Here are the measurements. The width of the case is 39 mm. Its thickness is 13.1 mm, including the protruding crystal. The distance between the lugs is 20 mm. Lug tip to lug tip is 46.2 mm. And the watch weighs 71 grams. Water resistance is set to 50 meters. If you know me, you know I like a busy graphic dial. This creamy off-white dial has a tachymeter scale printed in black around its edge and a minute track with 5 minutes indications right after that. In a nutshell, a tachymeter is used to calculate the speed of a moving object over a known distance, or the distance a moving object travels at a known speed. On the innermost circle we find patina-colored Arabic numerals, surrounded by printed black frames. These are made up of thickly applied luminescent material. Two large subdials take the places of the 3 and 9 markers and trim the ones adjacent to them. These are countersunk into the dial and have concentric grooved circles on them that give out a pronounced sunburst effect. The subdial at the 3 o'clock position is a handy 24 hours indicator and the one at the 9 is a 60 minutes counter for the chronograph. Each subdial has its corresponding markings printed in gold colored ink. Boltony is printed under the 12 o'clock position, and chronograph is printed above the 6. The hour and minute hands are highly polished syringe style hands, filled with the same warm colored Fortina loom on their centers. All three of the chronograph's hands are highly polished as well, but feature no loom. The chronograph's second hand does have a long counterbalance, with sort of a small leaf shape on its tip, which I think is a nice little detail. The loom used to create that aged look is old radium superluminova, and as you can see, it is really good. It shines in a bright green glow and lasts for a while too. Like all Boltini watches I examined so far, this one too features a tall and beautiful double dome sapphire crystal treated to some anti reflective coating on its underside. This provides great visibility and superb scratch resistance. The case is made of 316L stainless steel, treated to a polished finish on all surfaces, including the fixed bezel. The level of finishing is very good, and I couldn't find any noticeable imperfections. The lugs curve down to help the watch conform well to the wrist. A wide screw-down crown is positioned at the 3 o'clock position, gnarled and polished on top. Two piston style pushers are found at the 2 and 4 o'clock positions of the case. These of course control the chronograph. Push the top one to start and stop. And the bottom one to reset, 
with that satisfying snapping back into place of the chronograph sweeping seconds hand and the small minute counter hand. The case back is made of stainless steel too, and is the only place you'll find a brushed surface on this watch. It screws down and features circular brushing and an otherwise sterile design. Powering this vintage inspired piece is a modern VK64 MechaQuartz chronograph movement made by Seiko. We are seeing more and more of these hybrid movements lately, as they are reliable, relatively low cost engines that combine the best of two worlds. You get the accuracy of a quartz movement and that smooth sweep of the chronograph seconds hand like on a mechanical movement. It runs on a battery that should give you up to three years of use before dying out, depending on how heavily you use the chronograph. The watch comes on the same vintage styled double stitch leather strap we've seen on a few Boltini watches before. Though it isn't perfect, it certainly is very good for the price. It is thick and feels durable, and is equipped with a brushed and unbranded stainless steel buckle. On my 7 inch wrist, it wears very well. No surprises there. It looks great, and it's sized very well. It is a bit tall, but it wears close to the wrist thanks to the curvature of the lugs. The leather strap is nice and comfortable, and all in all, it's a great wearing experience. Legibility is not perfect, but the nature of this watch doesn't necessarily call for dive watch legibility. Let's take a look at the pros and cons. Pros first. From my experience with Boltini watches, there are five things they always excel at. Those are case finishing, dial execution, beautiful crystals, great loom, and value for money. These are all present on this watch. Add to that the fact that it's a functional chronograph powered by a reliable Seiko movement, and I feel I can wholeheartedly recommend this watch. It looks great both on and off the wrist, it is made of all the right materials, and it is sold for a very reasonable price. If I did have to nitpick about something, it would be that the small subdial hands tend to blend into the sunburst background of the subdials in certain lighting conditions and angles. This is not really that much of an issue to be honest. I can't really find anything else to point out. I am not usually a big fan of completely polished cases, but in this case I don't mind it. It is worth mentioning though that it is going to be more prone to smudges, scuffs and scratches. Let me know what you guys think by leaving your comments below. Is there something I'm missing here that you'd consider a con? If you're interested in checking it out for yourselves, you'll find a link to it on Baltini's official store on AliExpress in the description of this video. This is going to be an affiliate link that will not cost you anything extra, but will help the channel with a small commission should you decide to use it. Thanks in advance if you do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my affordable watch collection and hit the notification bell for more affordable watches related content. You can also follow me on Instagram and get to know me and my collection a little bit better, get all the news about the channel and connect with me on a more personal level. Here are a couple of quick links to my reviews of three more excellent Boltini watches. Check these out next. I want to thank Boltini for their ongoing collaboration with the channel and to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.